Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So today we are going to learn about the visual comparison feature in Playwright Test Runner. Okay, so it's very easy and at the same time it's very interesting as well. So already I have the uh, code partially because it's very very easy. Okay, so I have created a folder called Visual Task Comparison and within that I have a test case called Visual .test .ts, Okay. And as usual, we will import the expect and the test from playwright test and then we will write our first test uh, visual comparison and then we will use the page fixture. Using that, we are navigating to our website. Okay. So play.letcode.in. Okay. Now, how does this comparison works is very simple thing. So first, first run, it will get failure. Uh, I think it should not get failure, but somehow it's getting failure because uh, when we do the comparison first time there won't be any images okay so how does it works basically uh, it includes the ability to produce and visually comparison screenshot using the this function to match snapshot okay so on the first execution playwright test will generate reference screenshots subsequent run will compare against the reference so when we take the first screenshot uh, it is actually getting failure in the console we can see that it is the result is failure but i expected that to be like maybe some kind of warning or it should be pass um, but it's getting failure uh, maybe i can confirm on this in upcoming videos okay and then in the next run it will uh, try to compare the previous images okay and can we use the existing images to do the comparison means of course we can do that but uh, when we run in the browser if you notice the browser is not maximized right so whenever we run our playwright test script it will be like in the size okay and when we store the file uh, like for example i am taking the screenshot and i am trying to save this file this file size that is width and the height should be exactly same as we are going to take from the playwright screenshot function okay so that is the only one problem if both the file size are exactly same then we can do the comparison with the existing file or else playwright will try to take the screenshot then in the subsequent execution it will try to do the comparison let me give you an example here okay so first of all we will go to our letcode.in and of course uh, our website got a new look uh, okay so it's still in progress but whole new ui at least for the first page i am trying to modify each and every page maybe within two weeks uh, we can expect a new website okay so here you can see that everything is changed now and we are going to do the comparison test now okay so first time uh, let's take a screenshot okay so i'm going to say await and sorry not await first of all we'll use the expect and within that we'll say await and then we'll say page dot screenshot and this time i'm going to do the full page screenshot first okay so i will pass the full page true and then we are going to use the to be match snapshot sorry to match snapshot and then here we are going to give the file name okay so let's say that it's going to be let code dot png okay it's just a file name and the folder will be by default first time it will create within this so visual comparison right so within that it will create a uh, like visual comparison dot ts dash snapshots and within that the first snapshots will be stored okay and while executing for the second time it will always give us the test result folder right within that the actual and the different files we can see let me show you you will understand it better okay and of course in my play playwright.config.ts file i have changed the test match so that i can execute only this particular file okay so i'm going to say npm uh, run test let's see the output okay so here you can see that it failed and the reason it failed is because uh, it says like file doesn't uh, file is missing basically okay so here you can see that error um snapshot is missing in snapshot writing actual that means the there is no file to do the comparison so it's writing the actual file that is fine i un uh, we can understand that but i think they should not technically fail because there is no previous 
files to do the comparison so maybe a warning or something will help but this is giving us failure um, okay anyways anyways i will just uh, ask the question in the github issues probably we can expect a uh, better result for this okay so i will just update in the first comment so if you are watching this video maybe after a few days you can check that comment okay okay now here you can see that we have like visual dot test dot ts uh, that is nothing but my file name and then followed by the snapshots okay so this again folder within that you can see that uh, let code dot png is the file name so here you can see let code and type is png but in additional to that it also identify like what is the browser that is chromium and of course we run on windows 32 machine i mean the windows 32 browser uh, there is no 64 for chromium it's only 32 so that it says okay now i'm going to run this again uh, before that let me show you this png file so here you can see uh, the logo is there the welcome card is there and few things are there but in this page if you notice here we have a random riddle uh, that means this guy this text alone is going to change each and every time okay so have you heard of the band something okay so we have something here now if i run this again what it will do means It will take this file as its base file okay then you can see we got uh, another execution completion and here you can see that error is now snapshot comparison failed okay so here we have the expected we have received and what is the difference okay so if i go to my test result folder there you can see that this is the actual one this is the expected one and the difference file expected is basically this one right so here you can see have you heard of the band 1032 23 mb that is what we have stored in this so the initial file will become your expected file okay and this is the actual actual is what we have got another random riddle that is why did dracula live a lie in the wrong coffin okay now here other than that everything is very same so only this line should be different right so if i open this different file you can see everything is faded out like half transparent and wherever we have changes that is also i mean that particular thing is going to uh, highlight for us okay so that is how visual compassion works it's i think it's really a great feature so whenever we run our test for the first time it will take all the screenshots and of course we can have it for like multiple times within a test or for multiple tests also we can have it okay based on the file name the first run or the subsequent run it's going to do the compassion okay now there might be also question like what if my first screenshot is got uh, changed okay for example i have uh, done something like this now the site is completed so i'll remove the site in progress okay so i'm going to remove this so when i do this of course i have to uh, update my base file as well right so for that we have a command here you can see it's basically very simple we have to say like dash dash update dash snapshots okay so we can use that so what i did is basically within my package.json i have just added that command here and i have created another script tag as test dot i mean test dash updated screenshot ues okay so now if i go and run this dash us the update screenshot command so now what will do means it will just change this so here you can see that the original file is basically like 10 23 some mb we have right now it says past okay so it says like um does not match and it's writing the actual okay so if i go back and open this one you can see that basically now my original file right so my original file got changed so here you can see that what did the left eye say to the right eye okay so while doing the update we are not getting any exception uh, that behavior we are able to understand but when we are trying to do for the first time only we we are getting the exception uh, according to me i think we should maybe get a warning but not the exception but of course it's a very initial release so probably if i'm not wrong we can expect a some update on this okay okay uh, that's fine so that's a different scenario now let's go and do one more thing i'm going to bring one more test here 
uh, so this is anyway it's it's basically like uh, random riddle is there and we are trying to take the full page screenshot so definitely for each and every execution the random riddle is going to change and it will fail okay but this website playwright.dev it doesn't have any uh, kind of like uh, dynamic so it's a basically static page so we are going to test this and we are going to check whether it really works or not okay so i'm going to bring up control j and i'm going to run this sorry not this one i'm going to run for the first time so test okay for the first time of course the second test will also fail because we do not have any of the um base file right okay so here you can see both the file uh both the test fail first one will definitely have like compassion uh, snapshot compassion failed because we understood that random riddle kicks in so there will be some difference but for the second one of course it failed because we do not have the actual uh, file right so here you can see that the name is basically snapshot uh, dash name right so here if i go you can see snapshot dot i mean snapshot dash name dash chromium dash win32 dot png okay we got this one now i'm going to run this again okay i'm going to run this again and watch carefully within the test result folder i have everything related to the let code that is this file name okay now i'm going to run this again what will happen means this test result folder will be deleted automatically and then again it is going to create that file in the runtime okay first one got failure of course that will failure because of the differences so if i go to the test dash result you can see there is a differences right so here there is a differences so that's why it failed but you cannot see anything related to the uh this one the snapshot dash name because it is passed so if it's going to pass of course it will not go to the test result folder if it's going to only fail that means it is going to have only differences then it will go to that particular folder okay so i got you have a clear idea on how the snapshot to match snapshot works and the best part is uh, it doesn't going to check only for the snapshot if we have some text file for example let's say that we want to check our header or some paragraph we can still do that with the text file okay so it allows like text uh, txt files and then we can also say like jpeg images or some kind of binary data of course we can do this okay so with the help of to match snapshot we have a lot of option okay so this is the implementation of uh, visual compassion if you wanted to know the core like how it exactly works it's very simple it uses a library called pixel match so probably i will leave a link in the description you can change it uh, if i have to say in overall you can see this one so we have expected we have actual and the differences you can see like wherever it highlights the yellow and the red so wherever i mean in that particular places we have these changes so in this images you can see like the waves are little uh, light here and here it is little dark and some z kind of pattern so it's identify all those and it says okay how does it works in the sense like it uses the so it's basically worked based on the uh, pixel level com image compassion okay so here you can see the smallest and simplest fastest jascap pixel level image comparison okay so it basically uh, identify each and every pixels and then it try to do the comparison okay and other than that also we have a optional parameter called threshold that means we can say like how intense we have to do the check okay so you can just uh, change the value from 0 to 1 and you can check it okay like in a decimal format of course okay so that's it for this video i hope you are able to uh, uh, understand the visual compassion feature in playwright and i think this is one of the best as per my knowledge because if you consider other things like selenium or the uh, web driver io i don't think we have this many features at least in built in right out of the box of course we have a lot of third party um, or other modules of course we can use that but something which is like built in we are not able to see so so many years right but of course visual compassion i think it's a great feature in playwright and 
yeah it's really useful i believe okay so if you if you are in the very initial stage of your development this will definitely help you to do the ui comparison okay so i'm just excited to know how you are going to use this in your project okay do let me know in the com comments okay and definitely i will update on why the test fails for the first time uh, so you can check the pinned command probably in few days i will update that as well okay so that's it for my side thanks for watching if you like the video consider give a thumbs up to the video and also if you are not part of our channel kindly become a subscriber by clicking on the bell notification i mean the subscribe button and also click on the bell notification so that's it see you in the next one very soon